When Master Evil comes to play And Mama says that it's okay Alex and Josh are stole away And made to watch these movies To stay alive until the day they Okay, boys, it's time for your movie. A shitty remake that took all the things great about the franchise and totally chewed them up, digested them, and shot them out into the big streaming pile of a nightmare on Elm Street, 2010. <laughs> it's, it's good to see you again and be back, but where the hell's the evil family at? It's just us. I, don't, I have no idea. I haven't seen them or heard from them in a, quite a while. It's been a while. It's been a one-man operation around the Slash Track Studios. You look dazed, man. Are you okay? I would say I'm more tired than dazed. I'm, I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open, to be honest with you. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and we won't have to watch anything, you know? That'd be nice. Though I do wonder where the rodeo clown is and where Sister Evil is. I don't know, but stop speaking <laughs> in your bedroom voice. You're speaking really lightly and softly, and it's... Well, I mean, it's not like I'm saying rockin' my baby in the treetop. Stop, Josh. Alex. Alex. Get this stuff done. Alex. Alex! Wake up, bitch! Seriously, wake up. That's right. Come back to Freddy. Did you think you're gonna escape me that easy? I told you last time after Dream Child, you would have to watch the Nightmare Remake. <laughs> I don't... That was like a year and a half ago, Freddy. I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. Uh, shit. Time's a little different here. Oh, well. What do you mean, time's a little different? It's been one day. <laughs> wow. So... It's been one day to you, but it's been a year and a half to me and Josh. Yes. Uh, what, so how long was it in between sequels and Freddy World for you when they were putting out Dream Child to Freddy's Dead? How long was that to you, actually, in your world? It was six months, bitch. And that's none of your business. Wait a second. Hold on one second. So six months in your time between Dream Child to Freddy's Dead... So that doesn't make any sense because I feel like Freddy's Dead came out a lot sooner in my time and Josh's time uh, than six months. It came out way faster than six months in, in like real life. Are you saying something bad about the best sequel in the series? No, I'm just saying I just feel like the movie might have been rushed a little bit. Uh, both of them. Uh, five and you were six. rushed. You should have been a blowjob, Alex. No, and sometimes I wish sometimes I wish that I was a blowjob. Uh, life is not gonna talk your way out of this one. It's time for the god awful Nightmare on Elm Street 2010. Are you ready for this? No. And I'm trying to talk I I was trying to talk my way out of it. No, I'm not ready, and I don't I do not want to watch this. Well, I'll make things a little easier for you. I'll give you some company. Oh, Josh! Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Where the hell am I? I don't know. You look like you're in your cell. Yeah, but, like, it all disappeared. It's like I passed out, and then I sat up in this chair, and this does not feel like where I've been. And there's some know, weird where... stuff out, outside that window behind me. Yeah, and it's like, like what? It's, they all have your head. Am I in your head? 
Am I in your dream? You might be in my dream because in real life, your hair is not that long and that luxurious. Oh, you're right. Wow, that's... That's your dream power, man. So what am I doing here? Have an amazing hair, first of all. That's your dream power. But second of all, I think... I, ju I just talked to Freddie, and he said that we have to watch the 2010 Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that there's that. We have to watch it. I, I have no other... I have nothing for you. It's happening. This is actually happening. <laughs> Shut up and open the vault! Oh, God. Freddie's doing this? He said open the vault. Oh, boy. Just because they made Lord of the Rings does not mean every movie's good. I hope it's Jason Goes to Hell. Oh, yeah. We, we do these riffs before the wraparound so we don't know what movie we're watching. That's right. Oh, no. <laughs> Platinum Dunes. I wonder where the hell Master Evil is. This is weird. But, okay. We'll do this. They're playing kind of fast and loose with uh, the term platinum <laughs> for this film. Uh, this, movie, this movie went copper. Yeah, isn't platinum like the highest level you can go to if like, you're a musician? Like platinum's above gold, right? I mean, even if you're a platinum dune, I mean, you're still a dune at the end of the day. So, Hey, the dunes weren't all bad. When I was a kid uh, in grade school, the trip to the dunes on the Oregon coast was a big day because... You got to go out the day before and pick out your sack lunch uh, materials <laughs> with your parents. Oh, yeah, I forgot Clancy Brown's up in this movie. Yeah, I wonder if he even, like, what was, how did they sell this to him? Because Clancy Brown brings the heat to anything he's in. Like, Pet Cemetery 2, he almost saved that movie by himself. Dude, he was uh, the last serial killer that Dexter ever killed on the show. On the Damn. new season they did. Yeah, he was Spoiler really alert. Oh, it was all over the news and shit. It's like a year old. It's a year old. You know, I'm finally back. And th I'm putting myself through this movie. Not yeah, my Elm Street the remake. I might, I might be put out again. You might not make it. You, this, is, this is like a wrestler uh, coming back from a major injury and then immediately following up that injury, their first match back is a hell in a cell. Elimination Chamber. You're in the pod right now. Freddy's in a pod in the corner. I'm in a pod. Master Evil's in a pod. <laughs> They're just waiting. Uh, war games. This is a Nightmare on Elm Street war games movie. <laughs> I wonder if Wes Craven wanted his, uh, really wanted his name attached to this. You know, well, yeah, if you got a paycheck, I'm sure. Just take it out. I don't need the money. Take it out. You can't afford it anyways. He was like, I need you to, whatever money I made from this abomination, can you please roll it into my next Scream screenplay? <laughs> Oh, the Sprigwood Diner. I've been there. Four Isn't this the diner? Isn't this the diner that had hot dogs on the wall in that one sequel? Remember the marquee yeah. sign? Hot dogs. Yeah, the Crave Inn. You've had enough. That's Kellen Lutz, right? That's that's Hercules. I am pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, he played Hercules. He hasn't done too many things since the mid to late, like, 2009s, 2010s. Yeah, because Freddy killed him. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, Freddy, Freddy killed him in this film, so his, his career was over because, you know, he's dead, so you can't make any more films anymore when you're dead. And if he had survived it, the movie itself would have killed his career, so... I think he died on both ends, though. <laughs> I think his career was dead before he was physically dead in this opening scene here. I'll never forget, in, like, 2017, Dead by Daylight announced Freddy Krueger was coming to the game. Yeah. And everybody was so excited. Then the trailer dropped, and it was Remake Freddy. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Jackie Earl, Earl Haley still getting paid for this, huh? Oh, yeah. 
Where's the line cook at? He's not doing a very good job. It, look, it almost looks like he's making Jiffy Pop back there. That guy's like, hey, that's not how you cook pig's heads. Turn that burner down. Some pig head stew. Yeah, you're supposed to cook pig heads on medium. Oh, hey, the, the, the sous chef is in. <laughs> he brought his own knives to work. He's not using the no. Springwood Diner's knives. I'm sorry to say this, Alex. I'm sorry. I have to mm -hmm. get it out before you steal it from me. Mm. Here, come, here comes the short order cook. <laughs> Nancy they like combined Alice and Nancy's characters into one character for this film oh yeah hey I was still eating that steak woman that short fucker in the dream cut me she didn't even ask him uh, if he was enjoying it or if he was finished. You're right. She just took it. Yeah, he's like, look, hey, there's still meat there. Hey, <clears throat> take the that scariest, off my the scariest. Yeah, the scariest part about this is he's going to be uh, charged in full at the end of the meal that for the meal he didn't get to eat. Oh, and he's got a full, uh, full belly, man. If, when he dies, he's definitely evacuating that stuff. Katie Cassidy, just fine AF. Oh, hey, Nancy. Here in this town, we always say each other's names when we greet each other. Hi, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny if they said her full name. Hi, Nancy Thompson. <laughs> I cut myself with my steak knife. Why are you so concerned? Yeah, yeah the best way to try to avoid sleeping is to eat a heavy meal. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> hey, it's the Flash from Smallville, the guy in the uh, Quentin right there. No thanks, Nancy. Okay, thank you, John. Thank you, Quentin. Uh, hey, guy from uh, Jennifer's Body. Oh, yeah, can my buddies uh, pull a train on you? Uh, Quentin wants to ask you if he can sleep with you at some point. He's like, oh, that ribbon looks hot. See the way she tied that apron? Oh, God, yeah. With my vast experience and your vast experience uh, at serving in diners over our uh, adult lives, this table right here, uh, teenagers, you don't want these tables. You're not no. getting tipped. That's when you act like you don't see them come in or get distracted cleaning something yeah. until another person takes them. Yeah, you're like, that's not my section. Yes, host, it is. It's like, host, no, it's don't not. put it, host, don't you put him there. Don't you put him there, host. Don't, oh, my God. This movie is scary, then, because Nancy got seated a table of teenagers. This is a nightmare. On Elm Street. <laughs> at, the, <laughs> at, the, at the Sprigwood Diner. <laughs> you, just, you just stole my joke, you son I'm of a sorry. bitch. Don't get short with me. Not yet. Nope. So that mill costs like eleven dollars and change. I guess. Yeah. What did they have? What year is this supposed to be? Because three people can't eat for like twenty dollars. I'm sorry. But it's actually my casting manager. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to go out on a limb here and say this might be the most attractive Nightmare on Elm Street cast that's ever been uh, cast in a Nightmare movie. It's a pilot for a CW show. Springwood. <laughs> <laughs> Springwood Hill or something. One Springwood Hill. I don't know. The Kruger Girls. <laughs> Kruger Town instead of Cougar Town. Kruger Town. Instead of Riverdale. Springwood Dale. Springdale. Oh, that's actually a city close to me. It's okay. I get coffee dumped on me at least twice a day. Do you see, are you seeing how many booths are in this restaurant? This has to be a dream. No restaurant has 30 booths available. It's like a Waffle House, Waffle House size place. Yeah, they got one waitress on and no cooks. Uh, the only cook in there was Freddie cooking pig's heads. I mean, this place is ran shittily. Well, people were planning on going out to the Springwood Diner, but they couldn't find it. Uh, 
Please don't be real. Oh my god, please don't be real. Um, why is... Oh wait, so Freddy's using the steak knife because he wants to make it look like he's going to try to kill himself, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. That's pretty gruesome. Oh, they did the scream open. (laughs) If he didn't have enough money to pay the bill, why didn't he just ask? He didn't have to kill himself to get out of it. He'll never have a meal this good again. He had to... Salisbury steak was was amazing. He he couldn't face another uh, plate after that. Dude, they don't serve Salisbury steak anywhere on the planet Earth other than on an airplane or in a TV dinner. Have you ever had someone in real life make Salisbury steak? I mean, ever. No. I mean, I'm sure it was a real steak, but it looked like a fate, like a little TV dinner steak thing there. Yeah, I mean, come on. Like, have you, you've never went to someone's house and they're no. like, oh, we're having Salisbury steak. It's like, okay, well, then it's obviously a TV dinner night. It's it's called single man steak. <laughs> yeah. And is is a Salisbury steak ground beef or is it actual steak? I don't know if I want to know, actually. It's probably oh, it's, neither. <laughs> it's grade F meat, like on The Simpsons. It's probably uh, zoo animals and filler. Circus animals, excuse me. This movie had a chance to be amazing if they had made it where he actually hadn't done everything he was accused of. If they had, you mean... You know, He's innocent, yeah. Yeah, innocent. that would that would have been the only way this movie worked, in my opinion. Well, I'm already noticing some, I mean, clearly I'm already noticing some flaws since this movie is being riffed on Slash Tracks, but they're, they're introducing Freddy to a whole new audience in 2010 here, and they're showing him, they're showing him just, like, way too much already. You could see his full face and everything. They didn't keep him in the shadows at all. I mean, you saw yeah. his full face at least two or three times already. That's what I loved about the original. It was, uh... They kept him in the shadows. Yeah, you got to have a little bit of mystery, man. Like, Freddy's just going barreling in, man. No romance to the kill at all. It's like, here you go, ready to, you know, nut. And Nancy looks like she's like 10 years younger than her mother. <laughs> yeah, and I haven't seen her mother in anything other than a Lifetime film. Uh, she She's the Lifetime queen, man. She was in Dirty John. She was in a bunch of other crap. Uh, she This was like her big break here, and it obviously didn't break the right way. Oh, there's that little girl. So, oh, that's wait, her. Wow. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's her. Like because they're all, they all have like mass hypnosis or something because they were all part of this like you know spoiler alert they were all they all went to preschool together but they didn't know they knew each other before they went to like grade school or junior high together or something I don't know. You know what's sad? Those three people in the background. Anytime somebody watches this, they're like, "Oh, there's my part. There's my part." <laughs> that's their ceiling in life right there they were in the background of Nightmare on Elm Street the remake you, you know what's you know what's crazy about this film as bad as it is it was a financial success like it made money this yeah, movie made money it didn't get sequels because of the backlash of uh, what you know fans of it so oh I mean following Robert England that first of all that's a that's a big task and also I, Jackie Earl Haley, like we're gonna we're gonna bring it to your attention a lot in this Slash Tracks episode. He's tiny, okay. <laughs> he's oh my a God. very little person. In Dead by Daylight, whenever he's carrying you, it looks so hilarious. <laughs> he's so short. He's got to be like five five or five six. Yeah. Damn it! I gotta take that off my schedule now. Fuck her up more. The mom's like. Could all of my terrible parenting decisions uh, finally led to the realization uh, that I went the wrong way and should have just, you know, taken her to therapy instead of, you know, tried to, like, cover it up? <laughs> years, year, you know, years go by and she's having mass trauma. Oh, this is what all teenagers did in 2010. Sat in their bed listening to uh, something. 2010. YouTube. I'm not sure if YouTube was out yet. Uh, it was. It was. It was big. Okay. Uh, okay, you, YouTube was out, so I would have, I, if I was a teenager then, I would have been watching something on YouTube, for sure. Oh, oh, it's a dream, you know how I know? Because water doesn't go upwards? <laughs> no, it doesn't. I swear it doesn't. That is such horrible CG compared to the first movie. Did amazing with that. That was bad. Yeah, the I first saw every movie. pixel. 
the first Nightmare on Elm Street with the scene right there that they just copied, they just used a piece of spandex. Yep, they should have done practical for this, too. That dog, poor thing. Somebody forced it to be in the shitter. <laughs> you could be in this movie, but you're going to get treats. Okay. Ooh, do I get to go for a ride, too? Am I a good dog? They come out, the parents see the movie and look at the dog. Bad dog. Yeah, bad bad dog. dog. You agreed to be in that shitter. Oh, hey, some mom. pervert took him for a spank bank. Yeah. Hey, mom. Um, how come you got tired of scrapbook in here after page three? Oh, hey, mom. How is it that I'm only like seven years younger than you? Yeah, I wonder how old Katie Cassidy is right here. She's got to be like mid twenties, and that mom right there is probably thirty-five. Yeah, early thirties. Uh, still, like if she was in the porn industry, she's doing early milf stuff. <laughs> DADV. Yeah, she's in the niche <laughs> department. Like she's probably like if she gets a little bit older, she's going to be getting dominated, and then later on, she's going to be getting you know peed on probably. Uh, so, so her career in the porn industry is going downhill at this point. I want to go to the dentist in this town. All these teenagers have, like, perfect teeth. You don't want to go to the dentist in Springwood, man? Did you ever watch Freddy's Nightmares? That's how the cop that caught him uh, got murdered. Oh, was, yeah, yeah, remember? yeah. Remember? Yeah. Well, then who's doing all these beautiful teeth jobs, man? Teeth I jobs. A... You, you made dentistry sound dirty right there. I need a teeth job. I'm going to give you a teeth job, buddy. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, so yeah. So I'm having nightmares, Alex, and hearing spooky stuff at night. I think I'm going to go investigate my dark attic in the middle of the night. Yeah. Just for the yeah. hell of it. With her luck, she's going to end up in the fucking barn from Friday the 13th Part 3 right here. Oh, God. That thing was the villain of the movie. Uh, yeah, I guess the attic is taking the <laughs> barn's place here. She's, she's looking around up in the attic, and she sees uh, Michael Seaver and Boner from Growing Pains up here with a big waterbed. <laughs> you know, because, you know, Michael Seaver lived above, you know, the, the garage there <laughs> in the attic Jesus. area. Mr. Seaver! Mr. Seaver, it's me, Vincent Bonus the Bone! Or this is the attic where all the characters that get taken off shows over time go? No, these, are all, out. these are all the scripts of the actual good scripts that were written for, you know, this film. And she's looking for something to replace the current script that she's in. She's never gone to this addict once in her entire life. Nah, man, she's a teenager. She's a, she, she's busy, man. She's cruising, she's toilet paper in people's houses. She's going to see her friend or boyfriend kill himself at the Springwood Diner. Springwood. Springwood. <laughs> the Springwood. Okay, hold on one second. Hold on a minute. Why did the mom keep that? Yeah, why did the mom keep that? that shouldn't that be evidence down at the Springwood Police <laughs> Department? Springwood Police Department. Yeah, the yeah. Springwood Police Department. That should be in an evidence box. Hello? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Can you help can't, me out, please? Can't say that I do. Just tell her so we don't have to spend the next hour as they figure it out. That dress that she just found from her childhood uh, could actually fit Jackie Earl Haley as an adult. Yes, it could. Yeah, because he actually tiny. donated that to the to the production. It was a write off. It's a nosy guy next to my locker. Go back to the Joy Division. I want to know what their last names are. Are they close to, like, the same letter? Because when I was in high school, I didn't see anybody in my class unless they, because my last name's Vanover, unless they were, they were like a V, a W, an R, an S, or a T. I didn't see anyone in my class ever by my locker unless it's they were alphabetically close. Nancy Thompson and Quentin Smith, but that still shouldn't be next, right next to each other. That's impressive that you know his last name. It's from Dead by Daylight. He's in the game. Survivor. That's the only reason I know. 
hey, a teacher playing, a, a real actor playing a teacher in a Freddy film that's not Robert Shea. Holy shit, where's his cameo at? It's got to be somewhere in here, right? He's one of the teenagers. <laughs> He's a fit right in. <laughs> the the S and M leather bartender. He make he reprises that role. He's he's a student dressed up in the leather and the chains. <laughs> God, they've like used shitty. this gimmick. They've used this gimmick so many times <laughs> in the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Oh, Freddy was a dead eye too. That looked like a page out of the Necronomicon right there. Okay, is she scared or having an orgasm in her chair? God, I wish she was having an orgasm. She's fine as hell. You're going to be put on my short list. Running away is very small of you. Will you dance with me? It, I wonder, okay, how did they decide that they were going to... He barely looks taller than her. Right. The whole thing is he's supposed to be way bigger than them because they were babies at the time, like toddlers. Do so you think they would have uh, made him look taller? And I, like they're smaller. I can't stand the makeup for him in this film. It's supposed to be more realistic. But I don't see it. So I don't see it either. Real I want burn the victims. Pizza. Yeah, but true burn victims, like their whole face is melted. Like you can't. Sometimes they don't even have eye holes, man. Yeah, I I I prefer the pepperoni pizza, Freddy. Honestly. Oh, 100 percent. I I want the Domino's annoy the noid pizza look. Beverly Hills, that's where I want to be. Sorry. This Nightmare on Elm Street remake has been brought to you by the fine people at Volkswagen. Come on down to to Alex's Volkswagen here in Sprigwood, Indiana. Sunny Sprigwood, Indiana. Oh, Sunny Sprigwood, Ohio. Oh, Ohio. My bad. The books, yeah. the black yeah. plane books. It's like Indiana, Ohio, California. <laughs> They're all in different states. Definitely Ohio. Are you still in this movie? In Nobody rescued a, you? Here's a fun fact. In the Dream Master, Joey, before he gets sucked into the waterbed, uh, the, he's got the Cincinnati Reds uh, pennant on his bedroom wall. Oh, there you go. Oh, go, yes. Let's go back into that attic where we were attacked by a burnt man last night. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yes. I've been having fucking night tears and day day nightmares in class. Let's go into another weird area of my house. Alone. Wow, that's has got superpowers, Alex. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, an airplane, airplane, shit, my bad. Yeah, she's not actually flying like, you know, Superman or Shazam. <laughs> I worry about you, honey. You're 28 years old and still living at home and yeah, going to high school. <laughs> you're still in high school. You're 29 years old. I worry about you. It's like she's having serious emotional disturbances and she's like, I worry about you. All right, I'm leaving. Bye. All right, mom's gone. Time to party. Calls up her friends. No, <laughs> they won't let us out of the nursing home tonight. <laughs> no furlough for us. We can't get a day pass from the retirement village to come to your house party, Katie Cassidy. Her mom's like she watches her mom go. Now I can use the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Her mom's like. Old school. She's like, we make popcorn on the stove around here, Missy. Mom is gone. <laughs> Microwave time. This girl's got some serious discipline, man. She's doing homework and shit while her mom's gone. Like when of I was, course, in... of course, she's doing homework, Alex. She don't want to still be in high school when she's thirty. <laughs> well, she's, she's twenty-eight. It's getting it right this time. <laughs> How'd you do homework? Oh, I didn't. Uh, like, oh, especially okay. if my parents weren't around. Are you kidding me? I just watched DVDs and get on the internet. I didn't do anything. 
I was thinking about a little PG-13 fun. I would be concerned about this guy crawling in her window because he also looks old as shit, but she's, you know, clearly in her late 20s, so this is fine. She's like, you know my parents are gone, right? You didn't have to come in the window. He's been yeah, out there exactly. for an hour trying to climb the tree. He's like trying to get the courage to crawl up the freaking flower, uh, whatever the hell, the lattice or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going for it. You think he's Ghostface? Well, if he asks her, uh, if he tells her he was watching The Exorcist and it made him think of her, then yes. Okay. And okay, is, that's called a wet tiny. dream. Yeah. Oh, he's tiny? And he's tiny. And he looks like a, a ball of melted wax. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've had those dreams, too. It's, it's Frankie Kruder, right? Frankie Kruder? He hangs out at the Sprigwood Diner. But Is that the name he told you, Frankie Kruder? It's <laughs> Freddy Kruger, bitch! I've got bad hearing, asshole. Is she saying... Yeah, because... yeah. Well, Freddie should have bad hearing because his ears are melted. When they bring him into the real world, he needs to start screaming in pain from all the nerve damage. The terrible burn. Like, he wouldn't even be able to move uh, his body. I'm gonna get you, bitch! When I can finally move and I'm not in, like, terrible, terrible agony... Freddy has one badass line in this whole movie, and I will point it out when we get there. Oh, you don't <laughs> need it. to. I, I already know what it is. It's, it's the one where he's, like, we got, like, 30 more seconds to play or something. Seven minutes, actually. Okay, yeah, that was great. That was a good one. Oh, time for her to get drug across the wall, right? Because this is a direct remake, apparently. Wait, did they bone? Did they have some sex? No, it was a little PG-13 fun. Well, if it was the guy, the doctor from Season of the Witch, they would have absolutely fucked. Oh, no, she's too old. No, she, she's <laughs> just right, dude. For the doc, are you kidding me? I thought he wanted them at like 19 or something. She's like 29. So she's, this gal is the red herring, like, for she's supposed to be the star of the movie. We're 26 minutes into an hour and a half movie hour and a half long movie, and Nancy hasn't really done shit in this yeah, entire film. Quentin is more of the lead character in this movie than Nancy, really. Yeah, what, yeah. What, what's even funnier is, this isn't much of a surprise, they should have changed it up for this flick, because we all knew about this from the original. You know? Yeah, they didn't... <laughs> they, they took, like, almost straight scene for scene right here, from the original. For a lot of these parts. He's, she's like, oh my god, help me. Warshak is after me. Warshak oh, no. is after me. My dream dog. So the dog didn't die in real life, right? Because we, do we know if dogs dream or do they? Oh, I, You know, I don't know Jason would be mad at him for killing that. Actually, Jason would just walk up, put his hand on Freddy's forehead and hold him back. Yeah, Jason doesn't kill dogs. Also, and hey, I just answered my own question. I'm almost positive dogs do dream. Because oh, yeah. my, my dog makes weird noises and moves her little paws like she's chasing something when she's asleep. Oh, yeah. They see stuff. Hey, you think if there was a Freddy versus Jason with this Freddy, that Jason would just, like, put his hand on Freddy's head and hold him back as he swung at him? Yeah, he, he, what, no, he would, hold <laughs> Freddy, he would hold Freddy down and hit him in the face with his own glove and be like, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> Not ready. So was that a double entendre right there? Yes. Yes, a disgusting double entendre. Jackie Earl Haley, Kelly Leak from Bad News Bears, uh, and Rorschach, like his one of his greatest roles ever, follows it up with this role and his career was ba like i haven't seen him really in anything after this he was really good in the tick uh tv show that came out a couple years ago on amazon the terror okay. is one of his best roles man he did the terror so good okay i just his career really slowed down after this it did it did 
Well. Oh shit, I washed off my makeup. <laughs> I look 50. Let me fix that. Let me, let me let me put some makeup over my wrinkled eyelids and my crow's feet. Dude, dude that guy is that guy is sleeping like a baby, man. He just slept with the hottest chick in school, man. He is just loving life right now. Good old number ten. Oldest chick in school. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> Good for him. He's like, oh god, another chick with a seizure. No, she's having massive regret from sleeping with that freaking nerd. She just realized she had sex with him. They should have done practical here, too, like they did back in the day. This doesn't look horrible. This isn't bad. Um, but the Freddy appearing above her bed was terrible. Yeah. Shot for shot, man. Oh, shit. Nobody's going to believe me after the last one. Well, okay. If the Sprigwood Police Department knows anything about forensic... Well, this is not good by him touching her and stuff. This is the yeah. bad thing. But had he have just stayed his distance away from her when the blood spatter hit him, they would know that it wouldn't be possible for the cut wounds to happen from that distance when he had the blood spatter. You know what I mean? Like on his shirt from a distance. We are talking about the Sprigwood uh, PD, so their forensics team probably isn't the greatest. <laughs> they're, they're like, yeah, this isn't the first dream demon murder we've seen around here. Uh, all these kids seem to be making up the same story throughout many decades over and over again. They don't know each other at all. What is that picture in the background? Is that Freddy? Like, to the left there? I can't tell. Oh, is she, like, drawing him or something? I don't know. Well, no, not on that canvas there, but it looks like in the back, if you look, it looked like Jackie Earl Haley as Freddy on one of those pictures. Like, right there. Like, who is that? Above her elbow. I don't know. That's yeah. weird. Like, kind of looks like Freddy, a little bit? A little bit, a little bit. Uh, I was painting. Just like you. Shut up and listen. No, he's like, you didn't tell me that your friend was a virgin. She didn't, I thought she wasn't on her period. What the hell? <laughs> I get why y'all have cramps now. Damn. No, he's like, hey, Nancy, I have to ask you, what is a hymen and why did it do this? So the mom didn't, the mom just left the, the room and like barely walked down the hallway and she didn't hear this guy sneak into the window. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that movie. What, I'm asking you a question though. <laughs> also, also, this is the second window this guy has crept into in the last like four hours or whatever. Um, this is creepy on his part, but he also reminds me of Sam from Clarissa Explains It All. Oh my god, yes. They should have had the Sam music hit when he crawls into a window. Do you remember when the ladder was yes. on the side of the wall? Yeah, they should do that. We should totally put that into the <laughs> ending. <laughs> or some Melissa Etheridge there. Come to my window. <laughs> Come close. Tell me what a hymen is. How did they track him exactly? Did they have they have all the teens chipped. I yeah yeah they're they're like dogs. They have they have chips at birth. They're like we didn't say you killed her. Who killed just, who? Somebody we're here because somebody said you stole their car. What what you killed someone? They're like why is this blood all over you? It's like I was eating dinner at the Sprigwood Diner with Dean. He cut his hand. You know, they should have learned their lesson after Freddy got off on a technicality. They didn't even read him his rights. No, they just they arrested him, put their knee in his back, and threw him in the back of a squad car. They, they have learned nothing. Is he in prison or county jail? What the hell? I don't he would know, not man. be they, in a jumpsuit already. <laughs> he's probably, no, he's in county jail for sure, so you're right. He's in county jail. He's got a Department of Corrections jumpsuit on. What the hell? 
he must be he must be in Connecticut, and like they just got that from Vince McMahon's office. That like nails left that from when he was a wrestler back in the old days. That's what it looks like. Okay, that is a prison cell. That is not a county jail or local town cell. Damn, they skipped the trial. They skipped everything. They don't fuck around in Sprigwood, man. Yeah, they don't even have to prove that you did it. You're just going straight to prison. They didn't even ask him what he did. They just saw blood on him and said, oh, we got another one. Son of a bitch. Uh, no. What's your favorite scare? Oh, hi. <laughs> Are they talking on the home phone? No, he... They have cell phones. Okay, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> but this guy, like, he's already in prison because uh, he's in the DOC jumpsuit. He's, like, did it just happen? I'm so confused, man. He got thrown into jail with uh, Dollar Store Mark Wahlberg there. No, that that dude is, like, a drug runner for Gus, Gustavo Freem. That was a weird cut. Powell's Bookstore. Powell's is a real bookstore in Portland, by the way. It's huge. Yeah, they put Buddy's uh, Bookstore out of business. It's a joke. Play on the word pal, buddy, friend. <laughs> Sorry, you have, to, you have to really, really track that one down. You're not my buddy, pal. You're not. I'm not your friend, pal. I'm not your friend, guy. I'm not your guy, buddy. <laughs> Hey, it's the Six Feet Under tree. What the fuck? Look up the Six Feet Under TV show DVD cover art, and that was it. Identical. Yeah, I'll do that in my Master Evil cell later on with my vast array of nothing inside of my cell, Josh. Oh, I'm sorry. I was talking to the viewers. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. I apologize. Micro sleep. That's a cool addition to the lore. Yeah, but they kind of did that in Dream Child, where Alice daydreams. Yeah, so good point. It's kind of the well, same thing over. Well, her, her, it was actually her baby dreaming. Because yeah, because Alice closed the door. Yeah. I closed the door, but I found the key, bitch. I've never been in the store, saw a kid, and then started creepily following them around the store. No, if a kid's around me in a store or a restaurant, I try to avoid them because they annoy me. No. There was a kid at the tire place yesterday when I was getting a new battery, and it was like, the kid's like three, and he keeps telling his mom who's at the counter, all right, I'm taking off, and like looking back, like I'm leaving, and it's like, okay, like. <laughs> a three-year-old was talking like that? It was like three or four, like, oh, and the okay. mom, you know, the mom was like, you know, fuck my life, like I'm trying to like get a new tire or a new battery or something, and this kid is like driving me nuts. No, my name's Quentin. You've known me for, like, years. You know that, right? Yeah. Nancy. See, I know your name. He's he's actually in a nightmare right now because she, the girl he is in love with doesn't know his actual name. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy? <laughs> I told you. It's Quentin. I love you. This guy's in a nightmare. He didn't get a trial. He didn't get his rights read to him. Nothing. He didn't get to meet with an attorney. Yeah, he, he didn't have the right to remain silent. He never even was told that he had the right to remain silent. He's got neck hair going on in the back there. Okay, that's a... I'd be like, this is a weird prison. Like, I thought I was going to lunch. Goddamn boiler room duty. Oh, this is the guy that gets told... We've got seven more minutes. I'm pretty sure. Please you know, tell me be, the movie's almost over. <laughs> you know what would be great is if, uh, like, a preview for a sequel to this, Freddy's like, you thought this pile of shit was all you had to watch. We've got a whole other hour and 35 minutes to play. <laughs> like, oh, God. A sequel. He, he, he can't see him. He has to look down. Oh, oh, ah! He's like, oh, there he is. We're just seeing the far off shot when he gets there. He's like up to the dude's kneecaps. I'm going to get you. Pick me up so I can stab you. <laughs> Come here, guy. 
Dude, you don't have to run so fast. He's got short little stubby legs. Yeah, there's no way he's going to catch you. Just, like, physically, it's impossible. He doesn't hold his glove like a gunslinger like Robert did. The only thing he added to this character is the finger, like, rubbing, like, the, the blades rubbing together right there. That's a, that's a new thing. Are you a god? Yes, 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 we're a god. We're a god. I'm a god. Rick Moranis would make a more imposing Freddy Krueger than this guy. Do you think you can get me a better pair of dentures? I can't hardly talk. He doesn't even fight back at all. He is an absolute bitch. Oh, everybody abandons me. Even Freddy. Even Frankie Krueger. Freddy Krueger, bitch! God, he was in bed with the hottest girl in town. You know, she's older, but the hottest girl in town, no less. And now he's in Freddy's boiler room here. What a turn of events for this kid. No trial, nothing. That's the way Freddy kills people in Dead by Daylight. I love it. Just explodes through their chest with his glove? He, show, he's, he appears behind them and, yeah, does that. I, dude, I knew the prison food was bad and could cause indigestion, Josh, but I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, it was food uh, served to them from the diner from Space Bowls. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. That is the best line in the movie. That laugh is bad, though. <laughs> we got Alex. We've got six more minutes to play. Uh, Connect Four or Monopoly Junior? <laughs> ha ha ha! Which one? Are or you no. in the? He's all. Are you in the conservatory, bitch? <laughs> it was. It was the fake Freddy, short Freddy, in the boiler room, with the <laughs> horrible all, dentures and laugh. He's all G seven, and the kid's like, <laughs> Miss. <laughs> we still got four more minutes to play. Ha 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 ha. Well, they better, if they only have, like, six more minutes to play, can't play Monopoly, probably not playing Risk, uh, you're limited. <laughs> Hi, ho, <host studio. laughs> You're going to play, like, apples to apples or something. Old maid, maybe. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, wow, the Pied Piper actually wore a fedora just like Freddy Krueger wears. That's interesting. I've never seen him... Uh, pictured like that before. <laughs> huh. It's got to mean something. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's an interesting image I've never seen before. We're on a time limit. When did when did this happen, Quentin? Well, yeah, Quentin. There's only like 42 minutes left in this film. Also, uh, I wasn't aware that like there was so much. Uh, like, if you just go to a public library, there's so much available stuff. On Freddy Krueger himself. Right? <laughs> like, this role this is, is perfect for this guy. That's how he is in real life. Just half asleep looking all the time. Uncomfortable. Looks like he might have... He kind of looks like Cat Dennings a little bit. Are you, are you seeing that a little bit? Yeah. On Smallville, he was supposed to be the Flash, but they couldn't get the rights to it at the time. So he played, yeah. Imp he played Impulse, which was like an early version of the Flash. He didn't even get to be the Flash. <laughs> I wish that they would replace Ezra Miller in the in the you know DC universe because I'm tired. I, I like they're literally giving him a pass for all the shit he did. He was a, he like kidnapped somebody, didn't he? Yeah. Okay, what's what's she drawing here, Josh? What was she drawing? She's drawn up, uh, signing a contract uh, for, a, for a better movie. Runa Mara is her name, and she gets, like, when we announced that we had to do this film, Master Evil was going to make us watch this, she got so much hate for her performance in this film. It was crazy. Really? Yeah, a lot. the fan base cannot stand her. They say her performance was wooden. I, it's like, yeah, and I agree. And Freddie, 
I never noticed the other times, other two times I've seen this movie. It's like his uh, teeth that they gave him don't fit right because you can't understand what he's saying, and his laugh is like, huh, 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 huh. Yeah, it's like when you watch a vampire movie from the seventies and they can't <laughs> they can't do their dialogue because the fangs mm-hmm. like are falling out of their mouth. Alex, are you there? Oh yeah. Okay, just checking. Roger that. <laughs> What is that a picture of a cartoon dildo butt plug over there? What is what? I don't know. What, Puggy the Puggy the plug? What, it what looks like a it looks like a Christmas card or something, or like a snowman or something, or like in blood. <laughs> I don't I don't know. It looks like a butt plug stick man. This is a big house for two people. And they got a home phone line. Holy shit. Yeah, they got a landline here. And then also they have tons of art on the walls here is are these all nancy's drawings look how shitty they are (laughs) wait a minute wait a minute she's calling on the landline and in the back wall is another landline phone (laughs) there's no they don't have two landlines not even in 2010 they i know it's that's the most uh unbelievable part of this film not the nightmare dream demon that's killing all these children uh it's that she has two landline phones in the same room in 2010 at least it's believable that uh, this Freddy could fit in the tub with her. <laughs> yeah, no shit. And this phone she's got, uh, that looks like every burner phone that Saul Saul Goodman had on Breaking Bad. <laughs> exactly. No, instead of a claw, it's just bubbles that come up. <laughs> she just farts. Yeah. Um, and no, no, she, the claw comes up and then bubbles come out and then the claw goes back down because she farted. (laughs) That'd be good. I don't like the new claw design there. I don't like that. I don't like anything about this film except for Katie Cassidy and her fine ass. Honey, are you sitting in the bed with your legs or sitting in the bath with your legs spread again? Dude, I... I've said this before on the podcast. I've said it on everything we've ever talked about. I would have never graduated high school if it wasn't for the bathtub. <laughs> I did all my reading and most of my homework in the bathtub. Hey, the weather didn't call for snow in the hallway today. Yeah, no, she's like, wait a <laughs> second. It said there was a 14% chance of snow in my bedroom. What the fuck? <laughs> Man, do you want to bu- do you want to build a snowman? A snow Freddy, bitch. <laughs> Freddy's got some serious dandruff problems these days. Look at this. It's the dry skin flaking from the burns. Oh, 100%. Bad ham. Ooh, I bet some people got food poisoning there. Yeah, if they didn't, if the food at the Sprigwood Diner didn't finish you off, you know, because they're cooking pig's heads at the wrong temperature, and uh, people are just dying uh, out of nowhere in the booths, then the food here will kill you at the the preschool. This map on Dead by Daylight is a lot of fun to run around, though. Oh, really? Yes. You're going to call me little? Oh, man. Really? You just, I, I was going to say, yes, little Freddy. <laughs> he's projecting exactly he's projecting his insecurities onto Nancy right now because he knows he's tiny no I don't fucking remember just tell me oh hold on my teeth are falling out oh oh Nancy hold on Nancy oh oh God, man. His tongue didn't burn at all in the fire? Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he just wants a friend. Okay, how could you say that they're going for an angle where he's going to be innocent when he's doing this kind of crap? Like, if he was innocent before, he's evil now. Yeah, because they killed him, so he's he's like, you want to make me into a monster? I'll be the monster you made me. That's, okay, what I, that's well, how I saw it. Well, yeah, maybe as a killer, but he's not all of a sudden going to become a pedophile from it. You know, well, they're, not, they're not children now. They're, teen, they're, they're 29 years old, so. Oh, yeah, okay, well. <laughs> no, no, I thought he just embraced what they wanted to make him, you know, because they killed him. 
He turned well, because late, later it makes it sound like he was innocent. Okay, well maybe Freddy needs to think for himself. Okay, he doesn't need to like. Oh, that's what you want me to be? Okay, fine, I'll be it. It's like, why don't you think for yourself, there, Fred? Well, it's kind of too late. They kind of killed him. Well, he's obviously doing just fine right now, Josh. Uh, you know, he's running around people's nightmares. He's going to the Sprigwood Diner. He's murdering people. I'm afraid he's going to turn that butt plug person drawing into a real thing in the nightmare, and I'm scared. Yeah, it jumps off the card, <laughs> the generic white background. Ha! I'm Billy the butt plug. <laughs> I'm here to kill you. <laughs> We're going to have like some fun. <laughs> I sound like the rodeo clown. <laughs> He's teaming up with Batman's unknown villain, One Face. Melted face. <laughs> oh my god, it's the terrible twosome butt plug and melted face. <laughs> It's my report card. Don't look. Yeah, it says unsatisfactory. I never got a, like, when I was in grade school and junior high or even kindergarten, they didn't put the names of the people on the back of the photos. My mom had to handwrite them. You didn't have a, a undead serial killer after you. That I know of. <laughs> she's not even upset that she's looking through the files. She shouldn't. She's upset that she's hanging out with this kid. What are you doing with this dirtbag? He keeps falling asleep every two seconds. Have you noticed that? Is he on something? Yeah, he's on Hypnocell. <laughs> I never said you didn't go to pre-K. What are you talking about? Obviously, you went to, to, to preschool. Fuck. Being in this movie. <laughs> Except signing on the dotted line to play this character in this abomination of a film. Duh. That's kind of cool. That little thing right there. Yeah. That's where half that, their budget went. Yeah, that was kind of cool. That was kind of neat. Okay, why is the fucking groundskeeper janitor involved in the photo day. And why does he look like Gilligan? <laughs> yeah, like, get back to fucking hoeing the garden back there. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Why doesn't he kill him wearing that shirt, that, that red and striped polo shirt? That would be yeah, great. Hold, hold on one second. I, I Like, the, you know, I can believe there's a dream demon killing these kids years later that's, you know, from hell. Yeah. But is that Gilligan, Gilligan. <laughs> no, they're not gonna let the fucking maintenance man run the recess. Like, where's the actual preschool teacher? Yeah, what? What is, what is this? this? What is this? Who's filming this? Who, well, whose no. memory is this from how this angle? Who the fuck is the? How how is the maintenance man allowed to come in to the classroom now? This is ridiculous. Did Mrs. Jefferson do this? This is ridiculous, and. Where is the money? Like, they're, they're all going to this preschool. They're paying for it because preschool, I don't think, is free. Uh, wh where are the people in charge? That's my major question here. They're like, oh, oh no, we just. Where's Mrs. Jefferson? Yeah, we just have one maintenance guy, and he teaches them. He brings them to his boiler room, takes the photos, plays hide and seek for them. Yeah, he and teaches. <laughs> what the hell is he tutoring them? You don't even learn how to do numbers or read until like first grade. And how did they not notice the. The, the cuts on her back until they were scars. Like, what about when it was a fresh wound? She yeah, come like... home that day, right? <laughs> dude, I don't remember, like, honestly taking baths by myself. Like, my mom would at least draw the water till I was, like, three or four. Because there's only 40 minutes left in the movie, we got to split half of it and not believing the last half, figuring out we're wrong. Just, just come on, she, we'll get out of she's, this. She's like, how do you know? It's like, I don't. I just really don't want it to be true. <laughs> I just really don't want this to happen. This guy is playing Clancy Brown's son. 
like this little guy and Clancy Brown is literally like if you met him in real life, he's one of the most physically imposing people ever. You should see him in Carnival. It was an HBO show. He's really good in that. He's he's good in everything. He, he plays an evil like, preacher. Dude, Shawshank as the prison guard. Uh, oh yeah, he's phenomenal. There's an anthology horror movie on Shudder that he's in that, that just came out recently. That's really good. Um, we're gonna. Ha- I'm gonna have to check that out. And also, uh, we need to book him for getting sidetracked. Can you make oh, yeah. that happen, Josh? Please. Yeah, I'll get. I will get right on that. Yeah, please. Let's get him for getting sidetracked. Giga blast. Uh, you ever use that search engine, Josh? <laughs> I think that's a different type of website. Like at 2010, you know, it could have went Google, could have went Bing, or could have went Giga Blast. <laughs> yeah, Yahoo saw yet. Giga Blast and just said, "Nope, they got it. I'm not even yeah, trying." Giga Blast had access to like two different files, and if you couldn't find it, then you're just fucked. God, man, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. Just Giga Blast it. Fuck. Exactly. Just Giga Blast it. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you work that underwater. Yeah, make sure make sure you're not drowning to death while you're having micro naps in the pool here. And if a vortex opens in the bottom of the pool, do not swim towards it. Never trust a coach that's out of shape. It's like I'm not going to listen to you. Like you're clearly not practicing what you preach. You are a fat swim coach. I wonder how swim became a sport. I don't know. Swimming to me was always like a rich person's sport. Like it's like if you're a swimmer, you've got access to a pool. You've got you have money for goggles and like swim trunks and gear and stuff like poor kids. Like you grow up playing soccer or basketball or football because like 20 people need just like one ball. Smallville had a swim class on the show and I'm like, yeah, small town in Kansas would not have a swim team. I'm sorry. (laughs) No, man, and sometimes you'll watch movies or media where they'll have a hockey team where in Bullshit. a place where you where you know there's no ice. He's like, God damn it, the coach did tell me not to get pulled into the vortex at the bottom of the pool. Yeah. Shit. Tactical error. He wasn't listening. Rule number one. Run! Forrest, run! Get them the little legs of pumping. Hey, man, he's running from the Sprigwood Police Department, and he he's he's running for uh, for good cause too, because he knows they don't read you your rights. They just immediately beat the shit out of you and arrest you and put you into state penitentiary without a trial. Oh no 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 no! I got to delete my search history on Giga Blast. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck! They're gonna <laughs> find my Giga Blast history. <laughs> we know what you've been looking up on Giga Blast, damn it. <laughs> my daughter, I paid you to tutor my daughter. She flunked her test. I t- hey, we paid you to t- keep care of the flower beds and to tutor our children and to play Ring Around the Rosie, not molest them. The way he's screaming he didn't do it, that's what made me think he might have been innocent because... Uh, the way the scene plays out. Robert England's Freddie embraced what he did and cherished it. This guy, they made it seem like he could have been innocent. He's coming across as like a total coward here. Like he's scared, like he doesn't know why they're accusing him of it. He's like, I didn't know that I couldn't do those things with your children. This is uh, news to me. I should have, I guess I should have giga blasted this. Oh, your letter said to flunk your children. Flunk your children. Oh, I'm God. sorry. Oh, it was God. a mess up. We're canceled. It's over. <laughs> You're back for this episode and it's already over. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. The police were too busy arresting people uh, without search warrants or Get reading the rights. So the cops, so the people had to go take care of it. <laughs> Vigilante justice in Sprigwood rules the day again. Yeah, come out. Oh, shit, he's on fire. Damn it. 
Oh, yeah. oh my God, that was so hokey. Show the sweater. Where are the dream demons at? Aren't they going to tell him that he can be eternal? Right. They're like, oh shit, I don't think he's coming out here now. Uh, crap. <laughs> can I can I share a thought real quick? I like they probably didn't show the dream demons entering his body because they probably couldn't actually all fit into his tiny frame. Exactly. They were too big. They're too big. Like they couldn't have actually like it wouldn't be believable if they showed the dream demons entering his body. He's too small. Okay, coach, get your hand off that mostly naked boy, okay? This yeah, is how we got coach, here to begin with. <laughs> yeah, is that coach's last name Kruger? Kevin Kruger, cousin of Fred. Marcus Young, Nightmares Again, a man with a burned face. Yeah, your title said that. Now, hold on one second. This is 2010, probably filming it in 2009. Yeah, uh, internet's not that fast back then. That video just immediately played. Like, uh, what what internet connection speed are they using back then right. for that fast? Come on now. This guy right here was in the Friday the 13th remake as well. He sure was. He shoots the boot, and he wants to come back as the button on the ass pocket of that girl's jeans. <laughs> And last night I dreamed I was being chased by a guy in a hockey mask. And and they made me shoot the boot. And it was my sweaty ass foot. I had no socks on. And I haven't been in anything else besides these films since 2009. Huh? Who uploaded so, the video? Exactly! You fucker, you stole my joke! <laughs> Who uploaded the video? Freddy? Or he didn't die, obviously, and he didn't edit it either. He just uploaded it. <laughs> he just passed out, <laughs> woke up, and uploaded it. His No, his head hit the button to upload as he oh. was smashing his face into the computer. This is crazy. Kids using Google, kids using Gigablast, kids, kids using YouTube and killing themselves. That's not how things are done in Springwood, son. We 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 jump to conclusions and then we arrest. Put we them straight it. in prison. <laughs> yeah, they either we either kill them or they go straight to prison. It's one or the other. So you're hoping I never have to murder someone in cold blood? Okay, thank you, Dad. Well, the dad needs to talk to his kid first about combing his hair, because his hair is a mess. Oh, shit, I didn't see you there. Goddamn, Nancy, you're like a ghost. Fred Krueger never existed. We're in the free. We're clear. We're good. Alex. So, hey, hey, what... What high school is every locker the same color? Sprigwood. Like, where I grew up, like, for real, like, they would be rows of orange, yellow, and red. Like, they were, like, they'd have blocks, you know? Yep. This is a director's choice, for sure, for this scene right here. So the blood could stand out, because it's a sterile right. white color. Guaranteed. I see it like the script writer's like, oh shit, we're almost at the end of the movie. We gotta throw something else from the original in. This this movie, and I'm not trying to bash it because I love Nightmare on Elm Street, there's no truly scary parts of this film. No. Nothing messes with my head at all. It's too big of a rip. It's like a fan fiction film that had a real budget. <laughs> it's like... It's it's like I ate too much bad ham and tried to make a movie. I got to use the bathroom. Just hold on a second. Yeah, I got to. Uh, Hawthorne Health and Pharmacy has the best bathroom, public bathroom in town. I got. I got to go.
I've been constipated. Got to get some X lax. I pissed my pants here. I was my dad was, you know, I was like telling him that he killed an innocent guy, and he was bitching and moaning about how I hoped I'd never had to kill somebody, and then I forgot I had to pee. I got to pick up my penicillin prescription. I mean, uh, some vitamins. Dude, this kid almost drowned in the pool today, by the way. He's falling asleep, and she's riding with him. Like, she's more unsafe riding with this kid while he's driving than Freddie chasing her. Freddie's like, this is my Uber, bitch. <laughs> yeah, Uber. Freddie, Freddie here to pick you up, bitch. <laughs> okay. Hold on one second. This pharmacist looks like he's, like, 90. Like, did he just have a really bad retirement plan set up? Like, yes. that he still has to work? It's Pennywise. Yeah, it's, he's like, you could be Lois Lane. Uh, oh, yes. I haven't That's, seen cigarette lighters in cars, brand new cars, since like 05. I was just going to say that. That dates this movie big time. They don't put cigarette lighters in cars anymore. They, they, but cigarette lighters were great for charging, you know, phone chargers, and for if you were really poor, having the cassette cord to your disc man so you could play CDs. <laughs> exactly. This has and, nothing to do with staying awake. She's a masochist. She just loves it. This is, see, this is also not believable because I, I hadn't been in a car in a long time where the cigarette lighter actually worked. Yeah. <laughs> Like, is that's an old Jeep Cherokee. Am I right or am I right? Or am I it wrong here? Like... There's no way that that cigarette lighter worked. Come on. No way. Be digging through the glove box right now for something to burn myself with. Yeah, she's looking for some matches or, like, maybe a Zippo or something because that thing ain't working. <laughs> that's a good song for this. You all I gotta do is dream. Freddy kills his victims now by giving them seizures with the freaking flickering lights and the and the heavy movement here. And shitty music. He oh he's got a welding glove. Is that what that is? <laughs> no, no, it looks like welding. The oh sparks. yeah. <laughs> You better have his freaking goggles on or he's going to go blind, too. This is, this is actual footage of her backing away from the script when it was first uh, offered to her. He's saying, stop, I'm getting a little piss. Hey, hey, Josh, all the stuff, all the stuff in the aisle that's getting knocked over is just on the first and second shelf near the ground because he's, you know, so tiny. Exactly. Nothing high up would be falling off. A sweater that somehow was flame retarded. Hey, kid, you got to pay for that nearest foreign. Wouldn't he just be, like, naked with a couple shreds of clothing melted to him? Do, do, yeah, yes, and also, what store do you, like, fall down and scream and you're bleeding and stuff and you're ripping open boxes you didn't pay for where, a, like, a, a worker didn't come and talk to you? Like, if I even look at a ball and think about bouncing it in the toy aisle, somebody comes up and tells me not to do it. Hmm. I haven't even done it yet. Well, that old man's the only employee at the pharmacy and he's got a hearing problem, so. <laughs> yeah, because he's 97 years old. And Another he's example of Sprigwood. Sprigwood pension plans are awful. <laughs> Emergency. Here's a backup script for the film in case this one doesn't make any fucking sense. He stole adrenaline just so he can get through the rest of the movie. I need some. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Judith Hogue, she is April O'Neil in the first Ninja Turtles. It's like, oh, thank you, Dr. Nancy Kruger. <laughs> this gal right here, April O'Neil, she was also the mom in Halloween Town. And the first Ninja Turtles, Slashaholics, was made by New Line Cinema. And this and is also a New Line Cinema film. The remakes were made by Platinum Doom. <laughs> they, they were. There's another I know. I know that. <laughs> 
Is, now, was this Nightmare on Elm Street? Uh, did Michael Bay have anything to do with this? Yes, that's his uh, company, Platinum Dunes. He d- did Platinum Dunes do the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake? You know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know that one. I think he did, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I think they also did the Friday the 13th, which I actually enjoyed. I just look at Friday the 13th as a sequel. You know, Jason's regenerated over the years of being left alone. People show up. I have to, I have to force it in my head, but that's how I enjoy it. However you look at it, I, it's, I, I like it. It's enjoyable. They did a good job with it. It's terrifying that he's, like, when he's waiting on that dock yeah. for Will Ford, you know, and he's also able to shoot a bow and arrow. Like, that's pretty scary shit. And yeah. he's fast. He's really fast. It's Sam Winchester versus Jason. Love it. Do I want to jab some adrenaline in my body? Fuck yeah. Damn, that's a lot of adrenaline. It, it, does, did he uh, at least giga blast uh, the dosage? And that the he side effects? <laughs> yeah. He should have consulted giga blast first. You need to stop talking and watch my movie. Ha, ha, ha. You just had adrenaline. She did. She? No, I'm just. He's acting like he's just as tired. And also, if he'd injected that much adrenaline in his body, he would be fucking wired. He wouldn't he'd just be, like, be chilling right here. You want some Cheetos? I want to go get some Cheetos. You want some chicken? Oh, I bet some. I bet some fried chicken would be really good right now. Let's go get some. You want to go? Exactly. He'd be. He'd be like methed out right now. He'd be grinding his jaw more than Freddy grinds his blades on the freaking wall. <laughs> You don't exactly talk loud enough either. Jesus Christ. I haven't heard half of what she said in this movie. Well, she doesn't fit in, Josh, because she's really pretty and she's a great artist. You know, those two things are definitely bullseyes for people in high school. Quentin is more of the the main character here than she is. I don't even remember half of what she's done. He's doing... He's doing everything that the hero does in a film. Like, he's taking action. He, like... investigated Kruger, like, he's doing everything that a hero would do, like a final girl. She's literally, like, just along for the ride. Yep. Did they just drive into some toxic waste? Did you see that fog coming out of the ground back there? It's way, I, too, I don't, way too thick to be smoke or, or fog. No, that's trioxin. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> they drove into mm. some... Yeah, now they're going to start turning into zombies as well as being chased by Freddy. I had a Grubhub delivery one time to a building that looked really similar to this. Did you get chased by a little short, tiny dude with a, with a razor glove? No, but the, but the person never showed up for the delivery, and some random guy came out of nowhere in a van to ask me if I was delivering food and that I was in the wrong address. And I didn't know how he would know that because he didn't order it. Oh, wow. Like, I almost think that he ordered it and was hoping, like, a female Grubhub driver would show up so he could, like, murder her. I delivered uh, donuts to a gas station one time. I went to go inside, and so he said, those are for me. It was a cop sitting in the parking lot. Oh, get out of here. Really? dead serious. Dead serious. What donuts were in the order? Did you see? It was yours? a dozen donuts. It was uh, there was glaze, maple, chocolate twist, oh, and wow. uh, jelly filled. Uh, oh my god, the cream kind, Boston cream. Boston whatever. cream. Did he work for the Sprigwood Police Department? Because yes, yes, he did. Yeah, he didn't have time uh, to you know read people their rights or anything. He had donuts to eat. This is a room in the in the map too. Uh, on Dead by Daylight. That's pretty cool seeing it in the movie again. Some guy's just hiding in a locker in there waiting for the killer to go away. (laughs) They start (laughs) working on a generator. (laughs) I'm glad this uh, lamp was just set, this lantern was just waiting here. Still happy. Yeah, and they're happy. Yeah, and there's, they happen to be fuel in it. Them going downstairs into this like creepy little area here. Which, by the way, still has Kruger's bed uh, made there in the corner. Somehow, yeah. Um, you know, this little area looks like every youth group I ever walked down into. Like, every youth group I ever attended was downstairs. <laughs> wow, the, the police really suck in this town. 
they didn't they didn't rope off anything. They didn't uh, get any evidence collected. They didn't take his weapons away. I mean, I'm I'm guessing the school didn't close down right after these events. So they just left the the pedos uh, quarters exactly the way he had it. And it wasn't no even hard for them to find it. <laughs> yeah, no problem, man. Well, you get it. I'm the main character, bitch. Yeah, you go see what it is. I'm not supposed to die in this how does film. She, how does she know there's something back there? Her spider sense is tingling. Oh my god, you're right. There's something back there. Yeah, what is it? It's black mold. This building is fucking old and hasn't been kept, kept care of. Decades. Oh my god, it's Alpha 5. I wondered what happened to you. Ay, 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 ay! <laughs> you don't want to know. Wait a minute. Alpha 5 is Italian now? What the hell was that in first edition? I don't know. I'm sorry. Hey, Arrangers! How you doing, Arrangers? <laughs> it's a me, Alpha 5! It's his cave. <laughs> you just made Alpha 5 Italian. <laughs> I sure did. Bippity boppity <laughs> boopity boopity. Oh, there's hey. the dildo. He, he drew the butt plug thing, too. There we go. There you go. That was the card. You bastard. You knew that, didn't you? What? You knew that picture in the background was foreshadowing so they could see the picture later on, huh? I honestly did not, but, uh, yeah, it's a nice surprise. I honestly did not remember that. <laughs> I'm Zordon, and this is my assistant, Alpha 5. He is from Italy. Alpha 5, <laughs> address the Rangers. Ay, ay, bippity boopity boppity boopity rangers. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Here's the Lord has said, uh. <laughs> it's a Rita Repulsa. Uh. Oh my God, the cops really suck in this town. Dude, There's all left. the pictures. <laughs> yeah, they left all the actual evidence, man. <laughs> Holy crap. Nobody said, There's a draft coming from over here. I smell, I smell. Kitty porn pictures somewhere. Let's let's tear this place down. Well, no wonder they didn't catch his. Uh, they couldn't look at his Giga Blast history. He was going old school, man. He was taking physical physical Polaroids. media. Yeah, yeah, Polaroids, dude. Dude's like, uh, -uh I'm taking these home. Okay, so he wasn't innocent. That so, would have okay. been a cool twist, though. Was his house, like, did, did Freddy live at the preschool? Like, how did he yes. have access to this secret room? I don't know. No. No. Oh, no. Kool-Aid guy bust in through the wall. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm surprised that you didn't make the Kool-Aid guy's voice have some sort of European accent as well. No. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! I can't even do it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, you screwed up big time. He is a pedo murderer. Way to go, pal. Should have listened to Clancy. Good lord. Her nose is swollen. He just asked, what does he want from us? Well, I think He's it's... never going to leave us alone. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear here, pal, what he wants. He's like, wait, we're, we're like 18 now. We're safe, right? Yuck, they're sitting on that nasty fucking bed, man. You know how many bed bugs that thing probably has? Or are they back at her house? No, they're still there. Yeah, you go into the dream and fight him. I think that's a great idea. Well, he's jacked up on adrenaline. He's not going to sleep anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, I won't let that happen. You're safe, totally safe. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, we're not even dating. Like, for sure. <laughs> I'll definitely sack sacrifice myself for this relationship that doesn't really exist. Oh, now I fully trust you. You gave me your necklace. We're good. Let's do it. Do you? Well, do you have to believe in something? Uh, well, I, maybe. And also, what a great place to have your first kiss. On a oh, pedophile's yeah. bed. With, with Barry the butt plug watching from the picture over there. Yeah, they are. Why is this bed still made up? And, oh, my God. She's getting bed bugs. She's getting 
whatever else is in this shit heap of a bed. He's gonna, that, that's, that, that fucking lantern has a lot of fuel. Oh, dude. Lice. Bed oh, bugs. Rashes. Oh, my God. Like, there's got to be some staff going on with those blades Freddy had going. There's no way he sanitized those fucking things. He's rubbing them on everything. I bet having staff in your nose would be really uncomfortable and painful. Yeah, he didn't actually burn to death. He just has staff, st- staff all over his face and hands. Oh, wait, there's another smaller room with, with smaller pictures in it. That only Jackie Earl Haley can fit in. Exactly. We can't get in there. Why did he, he did a lot of paper cutting in his cave, I guess. Exactly. What does he have a big professional paper cutter from like a classroom in there for? <laughs> for t- was whenever he tutors the, the preschool students. What the fuck? And also, like, was that thing held together with like one screw? He ripped that apart in like two, like, no way. He's on adrenaline. Yeah, I was, j- dude, you just did it again, man. Great minds think alike. He's jacked up on adrenaline. Of course he can rip it off. She's like, are you done making noise now? I'm trying to fucking sleep, asshole. You good? You gonna sit still now? Okay, thank you. You, you know, sometimes when I'm really tired, I don't even dream. Because you're so tired. Do you ever do that? Yeah, I've done that. And this dude just promised Nancy that he would be able to stay awake. Yeah. And not one second after she closed her eyes, he falls asleep. Oh, he's Johnny Depp. He's he's the Johnny Depp character. Remember, he said he was going to make sure nothing uh, you know weird was going on, and he just immediately, Glenn immediately goes to sleep and gets She's sucked into even, the waterbed. She wasn't even asleep yet. <laughs> he's selfish, man. You know, if they had sex, you know, he's getting his first, obviously. Ding, 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 ding. You're short. <laughs> Man, you don't know how to play this game very well, Freddy. We can't keep playing tag if you kill me. He's looking up. You think he's looking upstairs? He's just looking up her body. I'm, I'll get you somehow. I'll climb up there. One, two, gassy coming for you. I heard gassy. Uh... I don't know what I heard, to be honest with you. We already played that game. Hey, don't get short with her. No, it's it's a real remake, sadly. When, when they released the... Freddy Krueger in uh, Mortal Kombat was was it this Freddy? I don't know. I think I've seen both. Oh, I'm at, back at home. It's all good. Credits roll. Hey, yeah, we're fine. She Nancy, should just see come out of the closet. Do you know where she should hide, Josh? She should just go somewhere that she could like get on top of like a counter or something. Freddie could yeah. never reach her. Up on top of that fireplace over there. Like wherever you <clears throat> hide hide your cookies from your kids, you know, the cookie jar, just stand up there. Okay, this is his dream world, so like he knows exactly where she is, right? Yeah, she's asleep. He controls this. Like he's he's doing this just because he wants to do it. He's in the closet with her. Is he going to find us, Nancy? <laughs> does oh, he know? that was so scary. Hey, does he know, like, because he's never actually been to Nancy's house, does he know what her house looks like because he's able to access her memories? I guess so. I, I, because. I, what are the rules? I don't know. They haven't established anything. I've had dreams like this before where, like, the floor turns into, like, melted rubber. That's how my sleep paralysis starts. It's an interesting story. I'll tell it sometime. <laughs> Thought you were telling it right now. No, nah, not the place. Not the place. Man, she looks like the girl on the raft who gets sucked into the like blob thing. Oh, she's like, like it burns! Too. Nancy swam through a river of shit and blood and came out clean on the other bed. 
she's got her like little artistic like easel and like paints and stuff tied to her ankle <laughs> <laughs> Wrap, wrapped up in a little knapsack you can't come in occupied yeah mom says i can't well he, she's fine she's on top of the bed he'll never catch her he'll never get her he can reach <laughs> come on dude she's on the bed man this is ridiculous comes back is he, on a, rope? is he on a fucking step ladder right here josh he's got to be I don't know what he's saying. He said this. <laughs> That's what he said, duh. <laughs> I don't like the character direction he went with his voice. Yeah. Freddie's taking no personal accountability in this situation. He's blaming Nancy for how he ended up. It's like, well, maybe I shouldn't have been, you know, secretly molesting all the preschoolers, you know, for years down there in my little uh, uh, creepy uh, attic uh, hideaway here or basement hideaway, you know. Nancy's like, does hitting me make you feel like a big man? No. You can't fall into my world. Yeah, so he's in the dream world, right? He controls this. Why doesn't he let himself speak like a normal person? <laughs> Why did the knife even go through him? Exactly. Why didn't it just block immediately? Your body says no. Oh, wait, I've already said that. I'm out of ideas. Wait. He's like... He's like a Bond villain at this point. He's revealing his entire evil scheme. Yeah. Petting the cat. And Nancy, whenever I'm done here, you're going to watch it. Nancy is attached to a bomb with a slowly burning fuse. That's And the bomb is like an old school like round bomb with a wick. And the bomb is green and red. <laughs> <laughs> Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Yeah. Batman. Okay, is okay. he asleep? No, he's, he's awake. Okay. He's going to get it. her. You know, he's, he's putting some scat in her. Guaranteed jack you up. He's like, oh, y'all kept my room nice for me. Thank you. Oh, it burns. Oh, my God. Ow. You like, can't damn. hurt me. Oh, that hurts, actually. Yeah, he's like, damn. He's like, pain. I forgot this shit. Okay, so he's got powers outside the world because there's no way that little dwarf could do that. There's no way that, like, most human beings could do that. I don't even think that, like, a muscle, like, jacked up guy could do that to somebody. I just want to yeah. see him kill the movie. Damn, Freddy just backhanded him. That's lazy writing, man. Oh, I like that. Give him a hand. Dude, just rip the line straight from Freddy versus Jason like exactly. we wouldn't remember it from six years ago Price. at this point. They seriously just ripped the line from Freddy vs. Jason, and put it right here. Wait. Not only that, but like, severe burns won't kill him, but being getting cut, his hand cut off and his throat slit will, okay. They, they, I know they probably planned on having a sequel, but they don't explain how he came back at all in this film. There's not even a hint of it. Yeah, I mean, she pulled that piece of his sweater in earlier, but... But why? Why did that work? Like, they don't... None of it is explained. At least in the original Nightmare on Elm Street, the mom yeah, explains to Nancy kind of what's going on. 
Wait, 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 wait. She, she's destroying the evidence. She could have taken his body and said, see, my friend wasn't a murderer, see? And see, we were telling you the truth. He was after us. But now they're just going to not believe him. Well, I think they burnt the fucking building down. Well, he's, you know, the friend's already dead. You know, you can't really go back. <laughs> yeah, but, but this, this would be point. a way to prove that it's Jesus Christ. Wow, this, Wait a minute. The firefighters get there quick. You want to go back? You want her to go and try to explain this to the Sprigwood Police Department and the, their CSI crime unit? Like, obviously, they don't do their job correctly, Josh. <laughs> but if they she knows the it's body, pointless. If they had the body. All they would do is burn him again themselves, because that's what they did the first time. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, he's back. Burn him again. You stole this movie from me, you fucker. Quentin, you're actually the star of this film. Thank you for carrying me through this entire performance. I never talked louder than this the whole time, even when I screamed. She just looks, like, mildly inconvenienced right here, or, like, that she might have to pee or something. <laughs> She's like, man, I wish I wasn't riding this ambulance right now. I really have to pee. Is the mom going to get ripped through the little window on the door there? Yeah, they're like, cue the blow-up doll, and they put glasses on the blow-up doll. <laughs> Honey, now that you're 30, you're going to have to find your own place. How would the mom have decorated the house if Nancy wasn't around to draw all these amazing pictures? Hmm. What? Okay, we got to read the credits as Freddy from this movie. You start. Go. Dimitri Diamantopoulos. Okay, I got I got one. Freddy Krueger played by... <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> Alan Smith came to play as Clancy Brown. Katie went shooping at night. Nurse Tanya Randall. And play with Nancy. Stunts were Daniel Maldonado, Tara Page. Special credit reader for Freddy right now, Alpha Five. <laughs> A graphic artist, Zordon, Brett Tanzer. Ay, ay, ay. Yours sounded like Yoda a second ago, man. You just <laughs> okay. said the words in the right order. <laughs> second be assistant camera. Which which have been Christian is? Motion control operator, Chris Nancy. The costume supervisors, Island McCahill and Gina Pano. It's like, okay, what did they do? They're like, okay, red and green striped sweater, check. <laughs> <laughs> Hat, check. Hey, we found a, a kind of a red and green polo shirt. Can we use that in the movie somewhere too for like a second? Oh, absolutely. Done deal. Uh, prosthetic makeup artist, Bart Mixon. What the fuck did he do in this film? Everything was CGI. Special effects coordinator. <laughs> Grip, he had an easy job. Grip rigging best boy, Tim Jipping. So there was an actual guy with the last name Jipping. So they weren't just Jipping the audience. They had a real guy on set named Jipping. They had to re-record this movie. Damn, that sucks. Oh, my God. Di dialogue editors, they realized nobody could understand Freddy. So they had to go in and fix it to edit it. Eight. ADR editors, Jed Dodge. Je Jed Dodge couldn't even dodge this shit heap. <laughs> Production That's... secretary. Everybody everybody needs one of those. That's what I wanted to be when I grew up. How, how much does that pay? Like, I'd like to look up the budget for this and see, like, what her pay was for this film. Prop maker. So one guy made all the props in the movie. Did Joe... he design Billy the butt plug? Yeah, Joe D. Mack. Do you think that's a real name or, like, a pseudo name? There was somebody with Shooping as their middle name earlier, so who knows? Assistant to Michael Bay. There's your answer to your question. He was involved. I, I, I kind of remember Michael Bay being involved with this because uh, of Platinum Dooms, obviously, but I couldn't quite remember because I wanted to forget this shithole. Still photographer? Is that the guy that took all the pictures of the kids? Uh. Oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> uh Rhonda DeVictor, she was the production coordinator along with Linda War Warlow. It's a me, Wario, Warlow. If there's seven second, dis second assistant directors, wouldn't that be like second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh? 
they're like going out like yeah they go out and shoot shots that the main director doesn't want to so like anything like secondary i guess like that's yeah. not the main part of the film it took but three people seven of them hey it took three people to hold the keys the key grips there so the key master was actually rick moranis on this film yeah he was the key master on set they're not even playing music for this part of the credits. <laughs> they just gave up at this they point. They figured the people, up. <laughs> yeah, Pete, they figured people had already left by this point. They're like, we don't even need to put music on anymore. Fuck it. They're gone. Holy shit, there is no noise whatsoever, is there? I don't know. There, Let me... uh, a ne- look, there's somebody. Gary Burrett was the negative cutter. He, sorry, he, there's no way he could cut all the negative out of this movie. Score mixed by Jeff Biggers. Uh, there's no fucking music playing right now, so what are you cutting? What does the soundtrack sound like? Does it just, just cut off? Just white noise? White yeah. noise? Nothing? Main title and jump rope. Un hum et un fem. All I have to do is dream. Three songs. Three songs in this movie. <laughs> Nancy's artwork created by Jessica Sheehy. Oh, so Jess- she's Yeah, she made Billy the butt plug. She, yeah, she's, she's the master butt plug maker there. Well, I don't know if we're going back to the real world or still in your dream or whatever, but uh, no person or entity associated with this film received payment or anything of value, I bet. Um, <laughs> no no characters were actually killed in their dreams during the making of this film. No music, man. No logo at the end. Okay, let's find out what happens when we go back through the vault. All right, let's do it. Uh I better not be in your dream, but we'll see. Okay, so we just watched a movie during one of your dreams, and somehow viewers are going to be able to watch us in your dream and recording the riff and listening like how does that work exactly this is uh this is new amazon technology you haven't seen it on uh, the wealthy instagram page where they like introduce new new products not this it's like no, no freddy has got new technology with jeff bezos where there's like a grain of rice that he implanted into my brain uh that I, you can actually record my dreams and my memories and stuff and put it on youtube it's a all, don't trouble your, yeah, don't trouble yourself with the technical jargon. Just know that it's happening. It's very real. And I got to tell you one other thing. Uh, McDonald's has a full-on uh, robot McDonald's now, too. And I don't know if Freddy's behind that as well, but they don't have people working in there either. What? A lot, yeah, there's a lot of things that have changed since we've been locked up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You know, it's just that confused me, all those science facts and stuff. But I guess it's mm-hmm. just a show, so I should probably just relax and hang tight for uh, more Slash Tracks. Um, all right, so how do I get out of here? Is Freddy going to let us out? or You're not How do I get out, out of your head? You're not, you, dude, you've been running through my mind for days now, son. You're not going anywhere. Stick around. <laughs> What up, Josh? What up, Alex? Slash track. What's going on out 